DDS CAD now has a bidirectional interface with ESBO, a simulation tool from Equa, in which we can also perform cooling load. In this video, I will show you the workflow to import the information from DDS CAD to ESBO and then export the results back to DDS CAD. Enjoy! One of the definitions that can be set on DDS CAD is the true north. Well, we can find the true north in the properties tab uh, to access and edit the, the true north. You click on the lock here, lock symbol, and then you can insert the true north by editing this parameter or simply click on the symbol and you can define on the model. Uh, in this case, I will insert like 35. After that, you have to save uh, the model. ESBO is also capable of importing the material layers from DDS CAD. Well, there is a video in which you, you, you can see how to define U values in DDS CAD, but just an overview, I will open the, the building function and then go to U value tab because it's important that we define the U value by the material layer. So we cannot use the manual function to define the, the U values, all right? After this definition, we come to menu tools and we select the option cooling load calculation. Well, ESBO will open a dialog to, to ask you which rooms you would like to import. In this case, I will import all the rooms that I have on this project and click OK. Okay, next. Important here, you we can directly see the orientation got uh, the value I have inserted on DDS CAD about the true north. Um, and then you can just play around with ESBO. This is not the, the, the point of this video to show how to, to calculate, how to insert parameters, etc. But uh, if, you, uh, if you are in a country that applies to VDI 2078, you would come to this tab. Otherwise, you should use the tab building to set location and and so on. After that, uh, by def after you uh, perform the calculation using the VDI 2078 or in your other countries without the VDI 2078, we click run to to perform the cooling design calculation. After the cooling load is calculated, uh, some reports will pop up here. But it's not the case to, to show it right now. But important is to export the results back to DDS CAD. To do so, we use the option or the function export results. Well, Explorer will open. And important here is that we save this file inside the projects folder. And uh, another important thing is that we must have a, a correct name for this file that is results point IFC okay so save it inside the, the project folder and we can come back to DDS CAD user interface now we come back to the menu tools and then we access the function cooling load calculation results transfer you just see that in my model, these part texts for uh, room part texts have been updated. Well, this is just because I have used the function text all rooms in which I have created this cooling uh, predefined part text, including cooling set point, cooling calculated, maximum temperature, sensible cooling load, and total cooling load. All right, then these part texts are inserted automatically. Another way to see the results in a model is by using the room function. So click on the function room and then click on the room you would like to see the results. And then you come to the tab cooling load. All the results are also displayed here. Would you like to see more videos like this? So subscribe to our channel and hit the bell to be notified of the new videos. And would you like to know something specific about the DSCAD? Put it on your comment below and I can make a video for you. Cheers!